No race card coming up here for this two mile six furlong hurdle, which is the last of the races here at Hereford in week one. Uh, so I'll try and link some of the horses to their trainers, uh, but we've got Blooming Good in the lead. I believe that is Craig Beckwith's runner, and a couple of lengths opened up already, um, but set in a very reasonable pace. There's a long way to travel, so the ordering of these horses isn't really going to matter too much for the time being, but a lovely jump by all of them there. It's Blooming Good in the lead from Organ Man Prejudice. Achen Burn in the same colours as an earlier Hereford winner, Omega Millionaire, but I'm not sure it is the same trainer. There's a lovely jump there in the wide outside from Pedro Aguaya Cheda. I hope I've pronounced that one right, but it'll probably be pronounced very differently every time I say that horse's name over the next few minutes. But it's Blooming Good in the lead from James Shea's Organ Man Prejudice in the, those all green silks. I'm becoming all too familiar with those and these commentaries so far and Pedro Aguirre the grey horse on the outside of those Camarogue Island uh, is on the inside of Achen Burn and the back markers at the moment are Sponge Bandit and Cuddly Cord who um, they jumped that alright Sponge Bandit ever, uh, might have been slightly slow if you were being hypercritical but all of them have been jumping these hurdles pretty slickly so far and it's blooming good in the lead as they come to that next flight slower jump at the back from Cuddly Cord that's lost a couple of lengths it's now on his own is the back marker, so Blooming Good still in the lead. We've got just over two miles left to go, and it's Blooming Good from Camarogue Island is now the horse that take up, takes up second place from Orgaman Prejudice, Pedro Aguirre Cheda on the outside of Achen Burn, and Sponge Bandit and Cuddly Cord complete the seven horses that are aiming to have a win in week one here at Hereford over two miles, six furlongs, a race for stayers, but Stamina won't be tested quite like it will in some other races this season. We've got very quick ground here at Hereford today. It's not quite the test of stamina that some of these horses will encounter as they go throughout this season here. Blooming good. It's been a blooming good round of jumping from it so far as it's got a couple of lengths lead and is just travelling very nicely up front um, from Orgaman Prejudice. Achen Burn has now moved forward into third place, joining that grey horse Pedro Aguirre Cherda and Cuddly Cord, who was once upon a time the back marker in this race is now moving forward and just is ever so slightly closer to the lead but there's still no more than 15 lengths from the leader to the back marker that is now uh, Camarogue Island and Sponge Bandit so Camarogue Island has dropped right back out to the rear of the field over the last couple of furlongs but Blooming Good is still setting this pace up front as we go towards the final ten and a half furlongs here and they're swinging right handed it's Blooming Good in the lead couple of lengths now to Achen Burn who just moves up to join Orgaman Prejudice Pedro Aguirre Cherda in third Cuddly Cord is widest of all uh, here and then that's a couple of lengths back to Camarogue Island and Sponge Bandit remains the back marker in those dark silks so with around nine furlongs left to travel and around six hurdles left to jump we've got Blooming Good in the lead good solid round of jumping from all horses there again but Blooming Good is either Relax the pace a little bit or the horses in behind have decided they want to get a little bit closer bad mistake there from Cuddly Cord and he made that mistake probably because he was trying to just cut into that lead a little bit Pedro Aguirre Cherda made a much better job of that and you can see he's now within half a length of the leader blooming good as they now start turning right handed they're going to come back towards home it's Pedro Aguirre Cherda who's now joined and uh, maybe taking the lead off Blooming Good, but you can see Blooming Good wants to hold on to that lead. So the jockey just gives it a few nudges and asks it to regain that lead. And it probably put a slightly better jump in there than Pedro Aguirre Cherda. But Pedro Aguirre Cherda is going up and is refusing to surrender that lead. Now once he's joined up front, those two are going to start maybe taking this race out of each other if they're not careful. They're really going neck and neck and trying to fight for that lead. And as you can see, Cuddly Cord and Achen Burn are now sitting just off that pace in Camarogue Island who started the race racing from the front and then dropped right out the back, is now moving ever closer and is now sitting not far off the pace, albeit still in fifth place. Sponge Bandit really trying to get into this race, but Orgaman Prejudice is the one that's dropped out of it as we've got three and a half furlongs left to go. It's Blooming Good, has the lead once again from Pedro Aguirre Cheddar and Cuddly Cord who take up second and third place. Has that battle up front 
taken the sting out of Pedro Aguayo Cheda as he's now back in fourth place. He's got two and a half furlongs to try and get going again, but Blooming Good got a little bit close into that one, but still jumped it really well. Good adjustment from the horse there. Blooming Good in the lead, about a length and a half to a chain burn in those light blue colours on the outside. Camarogue Island is the one that looks really likely up on the wide outside. You've then got a little break back to Cuddly Cord and Pedro Aguayo Cheda, and you can forget about the rest as they go into the final furlong. Blooming Good now surrenders the lead finally to Camarogue Island as they go to that last flight. Great jump from the leader. Camarogue Island is now going to ease down towards the line. Wonderful last jump there. Just really put this race to bed. And the jockey just keeps it going. Make sure nothing can get back into the race. Good win for Camarogue Island there. And I think it was a close second for Achen Byrne and Pedro Aguayacheda. The replay here will tell us who came second there. No, it was actually feeling good that moved back forward to take third place. But Achen Byrne did take second place from it. But the lead... The win there it was all about Camarogue Island for Alex Cherry. Um, really stayed on well and jumped that last flight to put the race to bed. Good win from second at Chen Burn for Martin Lead and Blooming Good, the long-time leader. Third for Craig Beckwith. Fourth was Pedro Aguayacheda and fifth Cuddly Cord.